March 11th. How you all doing? Hope well. And let's take a little verse from, the, from Isaiah. It says, For I create Jerusalem to be a joy and its people to be a delight. This reminds me of a little girl named Terry who was visiting her Uncle Joe on a farm. Her uncle was a uh, very religious man, known by everyone to be a very devout Christian. But <laughs> Uncle Joe never laughed or smiled and usually had a long, sort of sad, serious look on his face. You know, be people like that? I know some, you know. So Terry began to think that, well, I guess being a Christian meant being sad and serious all the time. <clears throat> that afternoon, Terry went with Uncle Joe to the barn to feed the old mule. She noticed that the mule also had a long, sad face. When they put his food into the trout, the mule snorted and grunted very gruffly. <laughs> Little Terry innocently looked at her uncle and said, Uncle Joe, that old mule is so sad and stern. I guess he's a Christian too. Hmm? You know, some people think sometimes they're Christians. Serious. Take away people's fun. Not allowed to enjoy yourself. But like Isaiah, when he tells us who we to be, I create Jerusalem to be a joy and its people to be a light. And that's who we should be. I create, you put your name there, Joe, Tom, Mary, Isabel, to be a joy and its people to be a light. So when you go into a room, do you uh, increase the, you know, the goodness of the room, the joy of the room, or do you uh, take the air out of the room by gossiping, by complaining, looking for mistakes? Or are you a positive person that you bring joy? I think for Lent, never mind giving things up because that may be more stern, more serious, but hey, bring joy to others. That's the great gift you can bring. God bless you.